Hello everyone and welcome back to this fantastic session by Scalar where we will discuss the importance of statistics and probability in various aspects of our lives. There are always questions arising in mind that why do we need probability and statistics? What good are they adding to science and other fields? Is it going to be something that we will just learn and forget about because it's irrelevant or what? Let us make things simple and logical to you about significance they hold. This session we will teach you about statistics and probability, the different terms that helps the experts calculate them. Next, we will talk about the importance of statistics in various aspects of life like business, mathematics, economics, banking, accounting, management, and even astronomy. Moreover, the discussion will also include the importance of probability in science and in real life. But before we start the session, if you like how we go in depth of the topic to explain the concept clearly, subscribe to our YouTube channel now. Also hit the bell icon so that you are the first one to watch the video as soon as they come. Let's not waste any more time and dive into the importance of statistics and probability. Interested to learn the role of statistics and probability in science? You must know making predictions and finding different structures of data holds an important position in science. It is important because with statistics and probability, they can complete various analytical tasks. So in simple words, statistics are a group of principles that help gather information from data and make a concrete conclusion. In other words, it unveils the hidden secret contained in data. Probability and statistics are very directly involved in setting predictions, algorithm and help decide how reliable data is. Now let us dig deep into the different concepts needed in statistic calculation. Have you heard of central limit theorem? It is a theorem that is based on statistics. It explains that the sample will be distributed generally if you have found the standard deviation and mean of population or sample. Learn about the different terms used in statistics. When referring to statistics, some often used terminologies are population, sample, statistical parameter and variable. Population, it is the place from where data has been collected. Sample, it is the subset of population on which prediction have to be made. Statistical parameters, it is the parameter that distributes probability into mean, median and mode. Variable, it can be anything, number or substance which can be measured easily. Let us look at importance of statistics in different fields. When learning about statistics, you would have thought of where we will meet the concept in life at least once in your lifetime. You will be surprised to know there are many fields where you require knowledge of statistics. Here we have discussed each one of them to gain maximum knowledge in the field. So stay connected with us to know more about it. Role of statistic in business. If you want to build your career in the business sector, you must be familiar with how statistics play an essential role in the field. It holds much in the making of decision that is correct and quick. For instance, with help of statistics, you can avoid wastage and produce precisely according to what your customer desire and want. Moreover, you can also check the quality of the production by calculating efficiency through the statistics. There are several business activities like finding locations, estimating profit and marketing product which you can carry out with statistics. Would you like an example to support this statement? You must have heard of marketing phrases in the businesses like 4 out of 5 dentists recommend Colgate or that all kills 99.9% .9 of germs. Roles of statistics in mathematics. Considering statistics is a part of mathematics, it will play an important role in mathematics. However, statistics is more than just a branch of mathematics. Statistical techniques are required in differentiation, integration and algebra. Moreover, probability and many other theories require statistical methods to make the concept much more accurate. This involves the usage of dispersion, averages and estimation to draw conclusions. Here are some of the examples of statistic usage in math. Finding mean, median and mode. Finding range on graphs. Sums like there is 60% chance that the room containing 30 people contain at least 2 people sharing birthdays on the same day. So you can see that we have been learning about statistics right from our childhood. Roles of statistics in economics. Did you know a large part of economics depends on statistics? Economists analyze data, interpret hypothesis and collect information using statistics. 
द रिलेशनशिप बिटवीन इम्पोर्ट एक्सपोर्ट एंड सप्लाई डिमांड इज ऑल्सो एस्टेब्लिश बाई यूजिंग स्टैट्स द सेम इज द सिटुएशन फॉर कैलकुलेटिंग पर कैपिटा इनकम इन्फ्लेशन रेट एंड इवन द कंट्रीज नेशनल इनकम द बेस्ट एग्जाम्पल टू रिलेट टू द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ स्टैटिस्टिक्स एंड इकोनॉमिक्स इज द सेंसस ब्यूरो they collect information and interpret it using statistics and give insights into various political items accordingly role of statistics in banking even banks use statistics in their day to day work the concept on which bank runs includes taking deposits from others and expecting people will not withdraw all of their money at once later bankers use the money to lend others on interest and make a profit from it For this they have to carry statistics to estimate the number of people that will make a deposit and the number of people who will require a loan a great example of statistical calculation is the FDIC's quarterly publication known as statistics on banking now let us understand the role of statistics in management government too runs on statistic in other words they use statistical information to make important decisions concerning the nation Most provincial and federal budgets they prepare at the beginning of the year are based on statistical analysis. This is because it is a reliable source of information when calculating expected revenue and expenditure in the future. Suppose you want an example of statistics carried by a government situation. How about figuring out whether or not to raise the minimum wage compared by the daily cost of living? The collected data from stats gives the government a clear idea of whether a wage increase is needed for the economy. The above are only the practical usage of statistics in our lives. They can play an essential role in space related predictions too. Want to know how? Then stick with us. Role of statistics in astronomy. It is not possible to estimate or measure the distance between the sun and the earth. So instead the astronomers came up with mathematical theories and estimates that is statistics to form their best guess as to how far the distances are between different objects in the space this is why you hear in news phrases like any day now a year later or thousand years from today etc when you are clear on how vital statistics are to the world you must wonder what role probability plays in life also how is it different from statistics probability versus statistics statistics and probability both are a concept of mathematics that deal with analysis of the relative possibility of an event however there is a slight difference between the two probability is concerned with predicting the likelihood of a future event on the other hand statistic involves analyzing the frequency of the past case moreover probability is a theoretical part of math which deals with the consequences of mathematical definition whereas statistics is the largely applied part of math trying to make sense of the world through observation what is probability though when a person tosses a coin it is sure that the outcome will either be head or tail but what if two coins are tossed together it can form many different combinations of head and tail so the chances of getting the correct answer gets compromised without probability however if one uses probability one can easily predict the possibilities of a result Probability has usage in various sectors like weather reports, sports, games, insurance and others. The discussion here is going to get more interesting, so make sure you stay connected with us. Roles of probability in real life. Probability is mathematical support of likelihood of an event to occur like picking green candy from a candy jar or ace from the deck of cards. It helps to make life decision much simpler and more accurate as we know the outcome it can bring. Here you can find areas where probability can be used. Weather report. Weather forecast assesses the probability of an event occurring which is often expressed in percentage. For example, great meteorologists around the globe use instrument and tools to predict weather conditions. They collect information using weather forecast data and estimate temperature changes accordingly. It is the prediction of weather in a particular month, week, day and hour. So if there is 30% chance of rain then out of 100 days 30 days have received rain This prediction helps common people to decide their essential events travel plans or even make day to day decision like whether or not they want to take an umbrella to work Meteorologists also interpret historical data to get a wild guess of how low or high the temperature will be or the probable weather pattern of the place Sports strategies in sports An expert runs analysis to estimate the weakness and strength of the team. 
after using the power of probability and odds analysts tell the probable future outcome regarding the team performance and strength in the sports as a result the team coaches can utilize those strengths in areas where they can secure victory in addition trainers even use probability to gauge capability of a player holds in the team thus making decision like whether or not to allow him to play and against whom a perfect example to explain the situation is a baseball coach who always evaluates the player's performance when positioning him in a lineup a player with an average batting score of 200 means he has to hit 2 out of 10 bats so the higher the average is the better he can bat next up insurance insurance companies use the concept of probability for framing profitable policies at a premium rate in other words according to information analyst provide after calculating probability it is used to form plans the plan will be perfect for families and settle deductible amount you will need in the future want an example if 13% of drivers that is 13 out of 100 drivers have hit a deer over the past several years you will want comprehensive insurance you might also want to consider a lower deductible if the average repairing cost after a deer accident costs around dollar 2800 on the other hand it also helps the company set the premium amount for each candidate like issuing a health insurance policy to an alcoholic person the premium amount applicable for that person will be higher since an alcoholic person has a higher possibility to suffer a serious illness next up games you must have heard of various games whose whole concept is based on possibilities like poker black jack board games gambling video games and all sports when we play board games we often use the term luck but what is it is it the probability of an event to occur considering the chances of odd probability is the secret weapon to win the game of poker to support the thought let's take an example of poker you have an odd measuring 46.3 to 1 or 2% chance of getting three of a kind in a poker hand but the probability rises to 1.4 to 1 that is 42% when talking about one pair so you use the knowledge of probability in poker to decide how much you are willing to put at stake however it's not like you can use any concept of probability in any field it needs to be accurate to find the exact guess thus it is the essential to know the different kinds of probability are you interested too then let's start with it different kinds of probability you will come across in your life there are different branches of probability to come up with the best guess in the particular situation these include classical theoretical experimental and subjective probability classic probability Classic probability covers the instances of coin tossing or rolling dice concept. In calculating such cases, it is paramount to prepare all the probable outcomes and even record the actual occurrence. So if you toss a coin, the chances are you will get either heads or tails. When you toss the coin 5 times, you record the result that occurred under each case. Theoretical probability Theoretical probability works on the possibility of another probability that will only be true when something else happens. For instance, if a person wants to know the theoretical possibility of whether a dice will land on number 3 when rolled, they must first record how many possible outcomes there are. For example, to land on 3, you have 1 in 6 chance. Experimental probability Experimental probability tells you about the chances of a possible outcome out of a total number of trials. So, when a person tosses a coin, there is the possibility of only two outcomes. However, the total number of flips determines the number of possibilities of getting a single result. Like if you flip the coin 50 times, it will land on heads 28 times. Subjective probability. This concept draws a conclusion based on one's personal judgment and reasoning. There are no formal calculation involved here just the person's knowledge and feeling for example you are rooting for a particular team to win the match before ending this session let's have a quick recap on what we discussed so far initially we talked about statistics and its various parameters which analysts generally use to conclude then we discussed how companies governments banks and scientists use statistics to carry out their important work and make quick decisions 
Later, you learned about the difference between statistics and probability and how probability is used in our daily lives. We tried covering all the possible important aspects in relationship to statistics and probability. So if you find this video informative and interesting, do not forget to hit the like button. We would also appreciate if you subscribe to our channel so you never miss out on any masterclass or informations that we provide on interview sessions. Thank you so much for watching this video so far. See you next time.